Hi there! Welcome to the Cat Colony and the facts about cats. Today we'll see tips to help cats stop fighting. As I'm a cat mama with six furry babies in my home, the cat colony, I have to tell you that it's a very common problem of cat parents to deal with cats that they don't get along together. Why do cats fight? <laughs> the first reason and most important is the competition for social ranking. Cat parents who bring a new cat home where another cat used to be the boss encounter huge fights between them. When cats are in the getting to know each other stage, those battles happen often. This kind of plain fighting isn't supposed to worry you because they battle for the alpha cat position in the household and it's very common between little kittens mostly. They are likely having lots of fun. The play fighting could go on for at least two or three months, maybe more, but at least they will get used one each other and stop it. We have to understand that if we have already a cat and we try to introduce in the household another kitten, this upsets the current hierarchy and needs time for the adjustment. Well, in this situation, we have firstly to separate them and put the younger member in a safe closed room where it will have all the necessary stuff like food, water, little box, toys, and nice cave bed. For at least one week, we shouldn't open the door. Just let the kitties have the opportunity to bat their paws in the bottom of the door and nothing else. After that, a nice idea is to switch their tiles where they used to sleep on. The sense that each tile carries will be served to the other kitty and this will help them adjust themselves. A small visit to the new cat's room from the older cat when the new kitty isn't inside is a great experience. After the first or the second week, we must let them see one each other but from their carriers. Put them in each carrier and let them facing each other for some minutes every day and if they begin to hiss or grill, don't worry, it's normal. After some days we do this technique, we must let them both out with someone keeping an eye on them. Hiding, hissing, sniffing, grilling are only some of the reactions that you could see, but when they start fight, clap loudly and distract them with toys or treats. This procedure may take from some days to weeks, it depends the characters of the kitties. Do this every day for a couple of hours and see how it's going. To this point I would like to remind you to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you won't lose the next coming videos with interesting topics for cats. Let's continue now. Another reason that could cause fights between the old and the new kitty is the territorial behavior. Maybe the old kitty feels territorial about its favorite launching spot, the litter box or the football. Again, the solution to this problem begins with separation. We must separate them and make sure we have enough litter boxes in the house as well as food and water bowls. Additionally, each cat must have its own resting spot, a bed, a cat tree, or a small box with its own blanket. Never neglect to supervise them, especially in the beginning, because the battles could become particularly bad with blood and far flying. Remember when you leave home to separate them. Let's check another reason that makes cats feel aggressive and ready to fight. A visit to a vet. Happens frequently cats in the home to act differently toward a cat that has gone through a surgery or returned from a vet visit due to an illness. This happens because the kitty which went to the vet has a different smell now than before. It has been handled by strangers and treated with medicine and the scent that covers those kitties now seems almost awkward and unknown. The aggressive behavior which could show up 
from the other cats fortunately doesn't last long and the cats return to their normal routine. In cases though that the cat which returns from the vet isn't in a condition to defend herself, the best is to keep her away from the others. Another tip to avoid such mess could be the solution of the towel. Here I mean this, use a towel to rub your cats and lately rub this towel on the cat returning from the vet to reintroduce the communal scent that all kitties are familiar with. As we previously said, illnesses make cats feel vulnerable and they may be more short-tempered and begin fighting even with another cat with which previously were friends. Stress is another reason that makes cats aggressive. Cats, as we know, love predictability in their environment and the changes or sudden movements could cause stress and anxiety. From this option, is more likely to interfere in battles. The solution here, as we said in another video, is the routine and the peaceful environment. In this point, we must say that as in humans' world, the same in cats' world. Personality plays an important role. All kitties have different personalities and characters. Some of them are timid, others aggressive, others jealous or frightened. Some kitties raise an abusive behavior, some others not. Distraction is always the best policy and plenty of individual attention to each kitty. When you encounter severe fights, separate them immediately and don't be disappointed. Things will go better. Each cat needs its own space and its own stuff. Toys is a good solution. Remember as well that cats which has been spayed are not so prone to aggressive behavior as the others. And now you must know some tips so you will be able to break up a real cat fight. Clap loudly. Stomp on the floor to scare them. If you spray them with a bottle of water could be a nice idea. Never hit them, never. You will lose their trust. Throw a towel over them so they will be distracted. If you are wondering if the gender matters, I will tell you that if you introduce one kitty to another at a young age, male to male or female to male or female to female, is more likely become friends and don't fight. In older cats may be more difficult but it's not impossible for sure. It's possible though, even if they don't become best friends, just to accept one each other. Needs time, patience and love and you will see improvement. With effort and love, conflicts can be resolved. And remember cat lovers, the message always is adopt, don't stop. Save as many kitties from the streets as you can. So, I hope that this video helped you or inspired you to get one more kitty in your house, like mine, which became a cat colony and it's full of love and fairy hugs, no conflicts, no stress, only purring. Thank you so much for watching my video and joining our community. See you soon!